Okay, uh, so we're gonna UV unwrap this table. So um, to see the UV view, uh, we need to split our viewport. And I'm also gonna tell you how to save a viewport. If we click over here on this, oh no, no, I'm sorry, on uh, this arrow right here, and we go to split pane left to right. So we just split it left to right. And for this one, I want this to be uh, my UV view. To get my UV view, I need to press spacebar five. But before we press spacebar five, let's see what spacebar one does. Spacebar one does nothing. Spacebar one is perspective. Spacebar two is top. Spacebar three is front. Spacebar four is right. Spacebar five is UV viewport, right? So this is kind of like the UV window in uh, Cinema 4D or Maya, but it is so much better and so much easier. Trust me, this is gonna make your whole life so easy. All right, so I'm gonna take this UV unwrap right here. I'm gonna collect it, connect it to that. And I'm gonna click on this, all right? Now, right now, what we see is all the pieces that we have are laid out and here are the UVs, all right? So what we're gonna do is to maximize the size, we're gonna make them bigger. Now you can't really see what the UV is supposed to look like. So we're gonna type in this UV quick shade, right? And if you look, notice, if I type in UV, all these things uh, come up, everything that has UV in it, even stuff that has nothing to do with UV. So let's type in that, or we can type in quick shade. I can actually, I can right click and do this, or I can just click tab, quick, quick shade. Oh, no, 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 not height field. UV quick shade. Now, if I move this into here and click on this, look what we see. We see the checkers, right? Now, the checkers are really kind of big because these pieces are small. So if we go into the UV unwrap and then we move this up, I mean, move this down, sorry. Now we're getting more textile density. But let's give it a little bit of padding, right? Just so they're not too close. All right, cool. Now what we do is we right click and we go to UV um, layout. Now if we type in UV layout, now let's put this at the end of UV layout and see what it is. Oh, this those tiles got a lot smaller, right? Now it's laid out a little bit differently. But we're going to lay it out in a way where we're going to do something called UDIMS, right? And to get to that, we just select this. And this is all you do, y'all. Go to Axis Alignment, click on this. Go to uh, by Island Position in 3D. Well, depending on what you're doing. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, just go to that and go to Fixed and under scale. And then where it says rectangles under targets or pack into, go to UDIM tiles. Then you take this scale right here and you move this and you keep on moving this, right? And this is how this works. It's gonna spread it out. We're used to doing things in one UV tile. This thing is gonna spread it out along several tiles. So it's spread it out to that tile right there. And if we go right here and we use really fine, uh, fine increments, we're like scaling this up. What it is, is you don't want to scale it up till it like goes under here because then you know you've gone too far. You want everything to kind of stay in this area and to go up. If it goes below this line, it's bad. Okay, great. So we have this right here and look at this UV density, right? We didn't have to go in and uh, lay out anything and cut this face and move it over here. It's just like, boom, automatic, right? And then we have this. And then the last thing is, oh no. And then we just type in out. Or 
I'll just do out UV and then table just to know that I UV'd it. So what this means is this table is ready to go into a substance painter, which is the painting program. And after it goes into substance painter, we can uh, bring it back into Maya for lighting. <laughs> 